In this video, I'm going to be looking at uh, another advanced control known as the multi view control. A multi view control, just like the name suggests, allow you to um, create multiple view uh, in the same page. So you can have a page one web page that has multiple views so that uh, you can place different information in these different views uh, so in a way you can create uh, a multiple steps so for example you have a web form like the kind of web form you use when you're applying for for example a loan when they get your your name first they get uh, the details about you in the first web form then the second web form you click on the next button then you get to the second <coughs> sorry about that you get to the second web form where they get the um, uh, details about your working history then the third web form about the amount of loan that you want to borrow and so on and so forth so let's see how we can use it so here because we have very very minimal uh, options as you can see the uh, is very minimal the properties so here that's where you have to be able to go this is where you have to get hang and steady you have to be set uh, <coughs> uh, another control within which it will be your uh, view you, can, you have to do the run at remember it has to have an ID. Every country has a, have an ID. So this is V1, V1, uh, and um, uh, run at equals to uh, server. Uh, this is the first. So you can just write that this is the first. Actually, we, don't let me do that. Let me drag. Let me create two more views this is the first view uh, let me create uh, copy and create two more views so as you can see the height is actually increasing by cell view 2 and view 3 that's how smart if you go back to the design view you can see that these three views are actually being created so in the first view I'm going to pin this down and I'm going to drag uh, uh, as you know me I like to use this label and uh, text box thing a lot. That will be the first view. Let's do that one more time. And uh, in the second view, we're gonna have uh, uh, what should we put in there? Give me an idea. Uh, okay, let's do. Let's just do the same thing, but uh, with a button. Then we put a button. There in the third place we're just gonna put we're just gonna type a text this is the the final page so this thing they works this views they works on index this one is index zero index one and index two so we want want to make sure that uh, for the multi view you have to select the multi view itself if you select the multi view itself and you have to make sure that the active view index so when I run the page, I want to make sure the view, the active view, it will be the V0, which is the first one, is the V0. So uh, if we look at the page now, we can see that uh, the only one that we see is the V0, which is the label and the text. So how do we change that around? So one thing we can do is, the let me do this. Let me change the uh, the document background color, so we can see how sorry the background color to my favorite color <laughs> you should know that by now and um, so in the multi view um, okay <coughs> let's do something I want the background color of the multi view itself to be anyway it doesn't really matter now does it so um, what I want to do here is to set is to be able to so let me input another drop down list I'm going to use this drop down list and this drop down list I'm going to edit item so add so this is view 1 view 1 uh, add view 2 view 2 and add again view 3 so I want to use this drop down list to select which view is actually being viewed so uh, what did I just did I just say view 2 again sorry say view 3 I'm growing old. 
right so there's three views so and I want to enable the auto auto post back so if I do the uh, drop down list select if I code this selected index change event I want to say uh, if drop down list one drop down list one dot selected item dot uh, value equals to uh, v1 v1 have to use double equal sign in the if statement then uh, <coughs> uh, what's, what's our thing called let's see what it's called multi view that will be multi view 1 ok multi view 1 dot equals to v1 multi v1 dot uh, active v active v you know remember that's what we wanted to change it goes to zero so we want to change the active view index to zero so let's copy this if statement and repeat it two more times so that means this one if the selected value is view 2 remember and this one is if it's view 3 so here we want to change the active index to two, 1 <coughs> and this one we want to change the active index to 2 so so what we're saying is if the drop down list to the selected matter value equals to view 3 then we want to change the page so let's run it and see how our page is looking so the selected value every time we run a page is with the v1 so if i change it to v2 you see i get the next one if i change this one to v3 so this is the final page so you can allow your user to move through pages using this active view you know we, we are still on this if you look at it we are still on the same page therefore but, but uh, our view is changing so just like I explained to you earlier on, you can use this one to uh, create a multi-step v uh, multi-step form, so you can have a, a lot of information here, asking the user to fill in their um, uh, the personal details. You can use this view too to collect their work details. You can use this final page to collect any. I mean, to do anything you want. So, and you can input any control here because this thing they don't have. Uh, you can you can for example put a pa uh, panel in here and put all your controls inside the panel do the same thing for this place and use it to create a multi-step form that's what it's called so and then finally you can use uh, uh, another way to use it to use it to create a multi-tab so it, be, it behaves like an Ajax page so that when you if you use the menu I if you use this menu you can actually use a menu somewhere here on the page uh just set the ori orientation to or, uh, or horizontal instead of vertical then so when and you connect this if there's a way you can actually link this to your uh multi view so that whenever you click e each of these menu item you see different views from this three you can create as many view as you want you can have up to i don't know how many so it's up to you so let's run our page and let's try it again and see how it runs the first page we're still on the same default dot default three dot aspx and you can change the v to whichever view that you want so that's how you use it um all of these controls there is no limitation I mean the only limitation is your imagination you can do as much thing as you want to do with them so if you have any question please leave me a comment on my blog and um, I will try and answer your questions thank you